Hi, I'm Van Tharp, and today I want to talk about position sizing strategies. It's a little known topic, but it's probably, aside from your own psychology, the most important topic you could ever learn. How much? Position sizing strategies tell you how much you should have on throughout the course of a trade. And what people don't realize is that it's through position sizing, not your system, but through position sizing that you meet your objectives, which might be maximizing your chances of achieving some goal of X percent, minimizing your chances of having a drawdown as big as you know, some Y percent, or some combination of both. And when you consider all the possible combinations of goals and, and drawdowns, there's probably as many objectives as there are traders. So sometimes I ask my audiences to play a game. In the game, everybody gets the same trades. You probably have, and when we do this, we probably have as many equities as there are attendees, with the exception of those who go bankrupt, which could be as much as a third of the audience. I've repeated this over and over and over again with thousands of people all over the world, and generally we have as many ending equities as there are people in the room, with the exception of zero, uh, and they all get the same trades. So the main factor is how much did they bet? How much do they risk with each trade? There's an academic study in 1991 with Brinson and his colleagues in the Journal of Finance. They studied 82 portfolio managers over a period of 10 years. And they looked at how much was in bonds, how much was in cash, how much was in stocks. They call that asset allocation, but in this case it was how much, which is position sizing, and this how much variable in an academic study accounted for 91% of the portfolio variation of the variation of performance. So we have my own studies playing the game. We have an academic study that really shows how important this is. 91% of the variability. So your system can best be described as a distribution of R multiples. If you don't understand that, I have another video out on R multiples and you should watch that as well. It has a mean value, the, distribution, the mean R value is the expectancy of the system, which tells you, given your initial risk, what percentage of that or how, what multiple of that will you make on the average per trade. And what position sizing really does is allow you to equate R over all the trades. So you decide your strategy might be to risk 1% of your portfolio on every position. So what you do is uh, you basically, your stop might be 10 cents with one stock, it might be $5 with another, but in both cases you're going to risk 1% of your portfolio, which say on $100,000 is is $1,000. So through position sizing, you equate R. And we do that through a process I call CPR for traders. So R here is your unit risk. C is the total risk. Sometimes I equate the two, but in this case we'll separate them. C is the total risk or your percent of equity that you're going to risk. And P is your position sizing. And the formula is position sizing is total risk divided by your unit risk. So let's look at some examples. Let's say your total risk is 1% of $100,000 or 1,000. Your unit risk is $100. How many shares do you buy? 10. Your next one, same thing, $1,000, but your unit risk is only 10 this time. What's your position size? You got it, 100. Now we'll go down to one, total, same total risk, but unit risk is one. Your position size now is 1,000. And more normal one, so your total risk is 2,000, your unit risk is $25, your position size, 80 units. So let's look at some sample trades in a game. You know, this is a distribution that has one R's, five R's, and 10 R's. So let's say you have $100,000 and 
you're risking 1% of the game, your risk is 1,000, you have a 1R loss, you now have 99,000. The next trade, you're risking 1% of what's left, or $990. You have a 1R loss, you now have $98,010. You're now going to risk 1% of what's left, or $980. You have a 1R loss, you, risk, you now have $97,030. You're now going to risk 1% of that, which is $970. And oops, you got a 5-hour loss. Big one. 92, 000, now you're down to 92,180. And you're going, this is a stupid game. This is a stupid system. I don't want to play it. But now you're risking $921. You have a 10-hour gain. And look, now you're ahead. You had four losses in a row, only one gain. So you're only right 20% of the time, and you're ahead. That's the power of position sizing and 10R, 10R winners. Let's talk about how to use position sizing strategies. You need to ask yourself certain questions. The first question is, who are you? Are you a risk manager whose job is slow appreciation with minimal risk? You know, are you a speculator who wants maximum profits if, if possible, and you don't care what the consequences are to get those? You know, are you ex an ex speculator who wants outstanding returns, but you still want to minimize your risk? And then with that in mind, what are your objectives? Are you trying to achieve some objective like make 100% every year? Or are you trying to avoid some particular drawdown that you might consider ruin? Or are you trying to achieve your objectives, while, some goal objective, while making sure that you don't have some particular drawdown in mind? Those are all possibilities, and you can see with various combinations of goals and drawdowns how many possible objectives there are, probably as many as there are traders. So what's your position sizing strategy? You might risk a little more after each loss, and eventually a risk, a win will come. You know, that's a recipe for sure disaster, but it's a position sizing strategy. You could risk a constant amount, $100 on every trade or $1,000. You could risk a percentage of your equity, which was the example I gave earlier. Could be any percentage, but I gave you the example of 1%. You could risk a percentage of your equity or an, a bigger percentage of your winnings. So, you know, initially you say you have $100,000, you're risking 1% of that. But now when you go up to 120,000, you're risking 1% of the 100 and maybe 4% of the $20,000 profit. So you're risking more as you get profits. So if you want to learn more about position sizing, I've written a book called The Definitive Guide to Position Sizing. 93 different position sizing strategies here, more than you'll find any place else. You can get it from our website. In addition, we have a position sizing course. So isn't it time for you to learn about the most significant factor in your performance, one that accounts for 90, over 90% 90 of your performance variability? And it's how you achieve your objectives. Even a holy grail system, you can blow up through proper improper position sizing. Whereas even a weak system, you could conceivably achieve your objectives with excellent position sizing. You need to learn position sizing.